Once you start using Yelp, you'll find it to be an incredibly useful resource for choosing where you're going to eat. I depend on the Yelp reviews to tell me what places are worth eating at and which ones aren't. So let's say I wanted to go eat somewhere around Disneyland. I'll redo the search in this area. So it's going to look for restaurants around Disneyland, list them all off here, and I can see that Club 33, the super secret Disney restaurant, has 477 reviews and four and a half stars. That's an incredibly good rating. The little dollar signs there, there's four dollar signs. That means this place is ridiculously expensive. So one of my favorite filters to enter in here is the cheapy filter. One dollar sign, two dollar signs, or just one dollar sign. And hit search again. So now my list is significantly limited. Club 33 is gone now because it isn't cheap. And instead I'm shown this Vietnamese place that has four and a half stars, 302 reviews. It's located right next to Disneyland and it's open right now. So it fulfills all of my various needs. The second part of Yelp is the social networking part. You can start making Yelp the record of, of what you think of all the places you've eaten at. You can go into your account and leave reviews. So I can add my two cents as to let everyone know how angry or happy you were with the service. You can share the review on Facebook, you can share the review on Twitter, you can check in at various places, you can take photos of the businesses you go out and upload them, you can leave tips. This is one of the nice things, so you can just say parking is in the back, free drinks after nine, things like that.